Hi, I'm Ken Ellison from Ellison Machine Shop. Y'all know me, I'm your engine guy. Today is October 31st, and I have for you four horror stories, four crate engine horror stories, tales so dark and so terrifying, I can only bring them to you on Halloween. Today I bring you tales from the crate. Okay, I have four stories, four very real stories. These are all real customers. None of which of these stories are designed to convince you not to buy a crate engine. They are all four stories of four purchases that went wrong to give you some of the ins and outs of how to make a good purchase when purchasing a crate engine or use it for information to compare it to uh, do, I, do I buy a crate engine and have it delivered to me by the end of the week and I pay less money for it or do I give the local guy a lot more money than what than what the crate engine is and I get in line and I wait for it to get done because that's your options guys and these four stories are very real and and I think it's really good information and so if you stick with me to the end I think you're gonna like you're gonna like all four stories uh, you're gonna get the, the moral out of each one and it'll make you a better purchaser uh, whether or not you go to your local machine shop or whether you, you get online and you have someone deliver you an engine okay Story number one, customer calls me up, says to me, uh, I need a 454 Chevy and I need a, he don't have an engine. He wants to purchase a motor. He wants a 450 Chevy. I give him a price on rebuilding an engine, supplying a block and give him an engine. <coughs> he coughs up blood. Okay. A couple weeks go by. I don't hear from him. He calls me up. I appreciate him calling me up because he purchased his engine somewhere else and now he has problems and I really appreciate him calling me up. Take my time to help him diagnose someone else's problems. So he calls me up and he tells me, I got a 450, I bought a 454 crate engine and I bought it off of eBay. Uh, the guy had a good experience rating. Yeah, because that means a whole lot. Um, he, has a, he had a good rating. This is a guy that sells engines all the time. So he buys a 454 Chevy completely rebuilt for $2,200. Now, I don't know, like to talk money when I do these videos because uh, I get people who are constantly talking about how cheap something is in their area and they think that what I'm saying is expensive or vice versa. It all depends on where you're purchasing from, but $2,200 is dirt cheap. Um, if you, Unless you live in a third world country and you're manufacturing engines, but any place that has Electricity and running water and paved roads can't supply a 454 Chevy. Supply the actual core, plus rebuild it, use quality parts, and do all operations to a motor for $2,200. Uh, so he gets his engine, he has it in, he calls me up and he says, he's putting antifreeze in it. He wants to know how much antifreeze this engine holds. I was like, oh, you know, what are you working on? He tells me, I said, I don't know exactly. I said, said, how much have you put in? He says, I put about four gallons in it, four and a half. He says, it ain't even, it ain't even coming up in the radiator. I can't even see it. I, I, you know, it's not funny. Okay, it is funny. It's not funny. Uh, it's going in the engine. I mean, as soon as he said that, I knew that. I mean, it's either going on a floor or it's going in the engine. I tell him, pull the dipstick. He pulls the dipstick out. It's green. Uh, so I tell him, go ahead. Uh, get, uh, he, pull, you know, he pulls the he pulls the, the drain plug out of it, antifreeze everywhere. He gets the engine out. I tell him, go ahead, get the engine out, get it on the stand, uh, get the pan off of it, and give me a call. I run over to his place. We take the thermostat out. We fill the intake up uh, right in the thermostat housing, and water is coming past the rods as, pour, as fast as you pour it in, as fast as it comes out. Okay, now this guy in the meantime has done giving me the link for me to get online and read all about this engine. And for $2,200, this engine has every component brand new, every operation known to man is done. Uh, it's been cleaned. It's been pressure tested. It's been, it's been pressure tested magma flux. It's a ground crank. It's resized rods. It's been, it's been balanced. It's got a full valve job. It has stainless steel valves, blah, blah, blah. Everything you could think of, it was supposed to have done. So we, we, we fill it up. The water's coming out the bottom. We roll it over. We wind up taking the time and covering the cam out of it. I can take my small finger down inside the cam tunnel where the camshaft goes on the bottom side of the lifters and stick my finger in the hole that's in that motor where 
My only thoughts is that it must have lost a ride at some time and maybe a rod nut or something got up in there or a broken rod bolt or something and the cam come around, the old camshaft come around and pushed a hole right through, right through the block. Okay, so this is what the guy gets. Um, it was, it's clear that this engine was never checked for cracks. It was never pressure tested. It didn't have stainless steel valves. It didn't have lots of what it was supposed to have. What it did have was a guy selling it for $2,200 with good experience rating and a customer who should have knew better for $2,200, you're not getting a 454 with all that work done to it. Uh, I don't, in my area here, I can get $500 for any 454. I can sell them all day long for core engines. It's no problem selling it. That would leave $1,700 to buy quality parts and to do all those operations. And if you know, if you do the math and figure out what a decent hourly rate is for a skilled laborer, skilled machinist, a skilled engine builder to do that job, and think of how many hours is in it, plus the price of a full engine kit, stainless steel valves and all the parts, do the math, guys. It's not possible for anybody to do the job 